Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video from the Science and Life Project in which we briefly address the issue of the importance of language. To this end, we will first define the concept of a sign. A sign is composed of two entities, a signifier object and a signified object. Take any two objects of whatever kind or nature, say objects A and B. They don't have to have any resemblance or anything in common. The fact that we want object A to represent, to stand for object B, means simply that we are mentally making an association between the two. We are assigning object B to object A as its meaning. We can imagine an arrow going from A to B meant to express that object A signifies object B. That is, object B is the meaning assigned to object A. The general classical definition of a sign is an ordered pair of this sort, consisting of these two objects with an association between them. We can freely create whatever associations we want between objects, and so a sign can be arbitrarily defined. The following pairs are examples of signs. One, a name as a phonetic or written object and the bearer of that name, the person itself. Two, a verbal expression or utterance and its mental correlate or representation to which it is associated, which could be the meaning object of this verbal expression. Three, a physical ball can be the signifier of a galaxy if I want, if I define it to be that. The galaxy would be the meaning or meaning object of the ball in that case. We would say that the ball represents the galaxy if I define it to be like that. Fourth, perceptions or percepts can be seen as signifiers of outer world objects. Sometimes the word symbol is used for a certain kind or for a sign in general or even only for what we have called a signifier. There is no general agreement as to the nomenclature. A first and primary definition of a language could be simply as a set of signs. The rules that define which signifiers are allowed are called the syntax of the language, and every allowed signifier is called the formula of the language. So you see that H2O, for example, is a formula in the language of chemistry, signifying a standard molecule of water. In the context of Romanticism, a physical rose could be a formula, meaning the concept of love. The rose would be the signifier, and the mental representation of love would be the meaning object or signified object. Now, why is the concept of language so important? Because everything else, whatever kind of knowledge, already presupposes a language in which it is encoded and expressed. We can only think symbolically through representing realities with the help of signs. Relations between signifiers express or represent relations between their corresponding meaning objects. We also model relations among parts of a system as relations among signifiers meaning or denoting them. All sciences, all types of communication, all systems of belief, all everyday experiences and even art experiences are encoded in a certain language, language taken, of course, in its broadest sense. In order to better understand what you're modeling or representing through language, you have to understand first what a language is, how it is structured, what elements it has, what combinations and possibilities it offers, and also, of course, what limits its set. Continuing from another perspective, the importance of language is also clearly revealed by the advances of cognitive psychology and sociology. It is known that there are reciprocal influences and even causal relationships among the constituents of the following axis, or chain, which we call the fundamental axis. Language, experiences and perceptions, thoughts, reasoning processes, actions, emotions, moods, body, and social interactions and communication. Any change or stimulus on any of these links causes a wave of changes in both directions, affecting all the others. 
This means that every change in every link has an effect that can be encoded and represented in language. That is, it can be translated to language. Linguistic expressions serve as signifiers of states and changes of the other elements present in the chain. Equally important is the other direction. The use of language in time also affects all the other elements. Well, we have shown convincingly that the study of language in logic, linguistics, and sexuality should be the point of departure for all other inquiries. Well, you can't play the music without understanding first your instrument. Thank you very much for your attention.